how how uh, personal is this deep blue to you it it is pretty personal um the beginning of the year, i mean this industry from the outside in looks like a wonderful experience you get paid lots of money and you fly around the world and you get to see all these cities and you play parties for a living and you make music and you have to go and do a normal nine till five and I can get why people would think it's just the best life ever and I, I would admit it, 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 it's a good opportunity it's a good privilege to be able to do that but the downside of it is it takes away your normal kind of your normal life cycle and normal day-to-day -day things have to be removed and things catch up with you a little bit and I hit a low point at the beginning of the year uh, around springtime and just things kind of just I tried to ignore them instead of uh, taking them head on and I fell down and the reason why the track is called Deep Blue I mean they don't want to go all somber on you guys but um, the reason why it was called Deep Blue is because it, it, it came from a place pretty pretty deep down and there's a reason why that cello sounds the way it does and the cello I spent weeks getting that cello to sound the way it does um, articulating every single note and velocity just to get the what I was wanting to hear from it so yeah it means a lot to me and it means a lot to to Anya as well she was there with me when I was playing around and she she was with me going through all that stuff too and so yeah so the success of Deep Blue is down to Anya and it started out as a as a chill out track yeah the original title was um, uh, Deep Blue Lullaby and it was a chill out ambient with a really kind of somber feel to it and I just I wanted to get away from that, that sensation I was going through this I was going through a really horrible thing and I wanted to move away from it, but the music was coming and the ideas were coming and it's how I was feeling. It sounds really cliche and you can say what you want, I don't care, but it really did come from deep down. And you went, you know what, fuck this. Why do I start feeling sorry for myself? I'm going to take that, I'm going to take that essence of what that track is and I'm going to really have a go at this. I'm going to make a track, I'm going to come back with a track, um, something that really means something to me. And to see it hit number one because of whatever reason people might appeal to different people different ways, that's great, but to me it is amazing to see that something that means so much to me, it's actually done so well. So I'm really humbled by it and pretty kind of tickled to throw a little bit. <laughs> How does it feel when, when you play it out in, in clubs? Because then you take, you feel the feeling or you hear the feeling, but you see it in a different kind of environment. Yeah, um, playing it out, I seen it, I, the annoying thing is I wasn't the first person to play it out live. <laughs> you weren't the first one? I wasn't because I didn't have any gigs booked at that time. Who was the first one? It was actually Fatty, Miley and Fila. Because uh, I, uh, I had some time off because I was working on other projects and from, from gigging, and um, I seen him play it out at the FSOE 400 shows, um, and they were pretty big crowds as you would expect. And I remember standing there listening and watching, and it was weird sensation. It was kind of surreal to get the, the the vibe in the room just suddenly change into this ethereal feeling in it, and I I felt that everybody else felt it too, and I got goose pimples, and not just because of the music, but how. It, how it resonated with other yeah, people how it was received it from other people as well absolutely and I kind of did I tear up a little bit I, I, I think I puffed my cheeks a little bit and then when I played out myself the first time I played it out was actually at Luminosity Beach Festival this year and I played it out and no one had really heard it at all so for someone to kind of hear something for the very first time never heard it before or recognize anything to get the response that I did I got the whole sit down thing and it was just amazing amazing vibe and yeah, I'm pushing my cheeks, and every time I play it, and now I look forward to play it out, because it still has that little special thing for me. It's my special track because it means so much to me, me personally. And if that can translate to other people, then I'm really, really happy with that. I'm happy to hear that as well, and it, it is a great, great track. I heard that the follow-up is actually almost done, right? <laughs> 